Hello my fantastic friends, welcome in a new watercolor tutorial. This is the galaxy challenge, so we're gonna paint a galaxy effect. We're gonna use just three different colors on three different kind of papers. Hey, fantastic friend! Remember to subscribe, but most of all, click on the little bell right here to receive all the notifications when I upload a new video. Thank you! The papers I will use are these, uh, which are the uh, Figueras. This paper, this is for oil and acrylic, and it's amazing. This is the Moulin de Roi and it's a watercolor paper. And this is the Vidalon, which is another watercolor paper. First thing you wanna do is to secure your paper on a stiff surface with some tape. And it could be either a piece of wood or cardboard, it's the same. Then take some clear water and a brush and just wet your paper and you want to wet it really, really well. You want it to be really wet with water. So um, then you take your colors, and as I said before, I'm using just three colors. I'm using ultramarine blue, magenta red, and cyan blue. And then prepare your colors with water. These three colors are the perfect colors for a galaxy effect, of course, in my opinion, uh, but they are perfect to me because you have two blues which are very, very different. The ultramarine blue is um, a like a warmer tone and the cyan blue is like uh, a cooler tone, so you can get two different purple tones, so you will have a cooler purple and a warmer purple. And then you have the magenta which will blend with the other colors and, and balance everything. So I think these are the perfect colors. And as you can see, I am putting the colors like randomly, but leaving some parts of the paper white. And this is super important. You want to leave some spots with the white of the paper. And if you want to, this is optional, but I, I, I like it, so I, I always do this. Uh, you can just add a little bit of water to get those beautiful stains. Now you want to add your darker um, color. So uh, you can use black, but I don't personally recommend it, because I never use black with watercolors. I prefer a very dark shade of grey which is a paints gray, which is the color I'm using here. And I am mixing it with the blue colors. Um, and I suggest you to do that, especially if you are using black, please mix it with the other colors so that it will be um, a more natural effect. And add the, um, the darker parts. This is super important, add the dark spots. And then let it dry or dry it using a hair dryer. So now you can skip this passage, but uh, I highly recommend you to do this because it's uh, it's important and it gives a different look to your galaxy. So what you can do is to add a little bit of clear water on top of your dry paper and add some spots using white gouache. 
and what a white gouache is. I will explain it down here in the description box. So I will try to explain it down here in the description box. So please read it. And I recommend you to do this because if you add the white gouache when your colors are still wet, you can do that. But of course, sometimes it happens that the white gouache mixes with the other colors and it's not white anymore. So if you do this, you know, adding some clear water on top of the paper once it's dry, you will have the same effect but with your gouache perfectly white. And this effect is amazing because it resembles the glowy stars in the sky and I think it's perfect for a galaxy. And when it is completely dry again, add the other stars. And this will give dimension to your picture and the galaxy will look more real. So now use your hair dryer to remove the paper tape and that's it this is your galaxy effect on the vitalone paper so let's move on with the second paper which is the moulin de roi which again is a paper by Canson and this one is a watercolor paper, 100% cotton and I love it. So again, let's do the same things we've done before. Wet the surface with some clear water and then put the colors on top of it. And again, I'm using the same colors. And then the dark color, which is a paints gray, and I love the paints gray because it's very dark, but it's not black and it's more natural. And what I'm doing here with the paper still wet uh, is just to add a little bit of water and remove the color. And as you can see, you can remove the colors very well on this paper, the Moulin du Roi. Uh, so that makes this paper perfect for beginners. As you can see, you can remove the color even with the paper completely dry. Now, here to make the stars, I'm using a gel pen. This one is by Asama and it's called Signo. And the gel pen is perfect not only to make the stars, but also if you want to create some hand lettering or make some, you know, uh, particular design. And this is the result with the Moulin de Roi paper. And the third paper, which is the Figueras paper. And the Figueras paper is one of my favorite papers by Canson. It's amazing, it's an acrylic and oil paper. It's not for watercolors and it resembles a canvas. But I'm using it with watercolors because it gives a totally different effect and as you can see it doesn't absorb the water because it's not made for watercolors of course and the colors run on top of the surface and they mix together in a different way they create some stains here and there and um, it's like it's kind of a, like a waterproof paper somehow So I'm using here the same colors, so the same 
um, blues and purple and, and red and gray and as you can see they look more vibrant and, and intense and, and darker. And then here I'm using the gouache again, but this time I didn't wait for the, uh, the paper to be completely dry because since it's not a watercolor paper, when you put some water on top of the, um, of the paper, once it's dry, the color will dissolve. So um, it will be, um, you know, it will be brushed away. I don't know if it makes sense. Anyway, then I added my stars using again the gel pen here and that's it! So guys, this is the result. These are my galaxies on this, uh, on these Three different papers, all amazing papers by Hansen, the Vidalon, the Moulin de Roi and the Figueras. So let me know if you already knew these papers, if you use them or not, so what you think, which one is your favorite? My favorite is the Vidalon. And let me some comments down here, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel of course. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Ciao!